Jess Swami Narayan. In this video, we will be looking at the administrator access of SVM Gondal website. So first things first, let's log in into our website. I'll use the credentials here. We have logged in into the website and as you can see, it is asking me to select the academic year. So I'll select the current academic year or based on the academic year you will be using. So let's set on next and I'll go to admin first. Here, the admin will be granted these following uh, kinds of accesses, as you can see on your left hand side of the window. So that is managed schools, managed standards, free units, fee structure, student information, configuration, import export, credential management, best alumni and migration. And inside migration, we have two more steps that is migration steps and student migration. Now, let's move to managed schools. And here, any administrator can add the number of schools they wish to. So we will uh, try to see how it goes. I'll hit on add school and I can enter any school name, a particular school address, location, description and hit on register. And it will add my school here, just like these three. Let's move on to manage standards. So here I can add as many standards and uh, with a given number of filters that is gender, medium, unit, uh, school license number and uh, so on. So, for example, here we have three schools and if I want to add any standard in hostel school or school yogi ji maharaj mark, school gyan mark, I can do that. So, for example, let's say I want to add any particular class in school yogi ji maharaj. So, I'll click on this, then add standard, add the credentials, that is the standard, gender, select either boy or girl, select the medium, free unit, any description number if we have, and then hit on register. That's how this module will work. And these below these four boxes are the filters. That is, you can see students of English medium, Gujarati medium, uh, gender that is boy or girl. So let's click on English and boy, and you can see the results here. Let's move on to free units. So free units is something based on the value of received and uh, fees related things. And you can add any record here, unit, entity type, the school name, value on receipt, and then uh, location, sub-school name, etc. Then let's move on to fee structure. So the fee structure can be decided based on any particular school. And like I mentioned earlier, these four filters can be used to view the records. So this is the current fee structure that we have. Let's move on to student information. And here I can search any student by typing their either name or enrollment ID. So I'll hit on one and it will uh, show me the list of students that have the ID of one or any value uh, succeeding it. And let's say, suppose I click on this and submit, it will show me all the basic details of that particular student. Now let's move on to configuration. So let's, let's look at this configuration tab first. So here I have group one and group two. So these numbers are classes six to nine, six, seven, eight, nine are the classes. So the students of these classes are arranged into one group and the students of 11th commerce, 11 science, 12th commerce, 12 science and 10 standard that is from 10 to 12 standards have been arranged to group two. And now I can set a minimum balance, minimum balance for any particular category, let's say food. So I can select any group that is group one. And I can select any minimum balance and the purchase limit that is for one time purchase of any particular item. So a particular student can purchase any item uh, under 100 rupees uh, once. And this is the limit. And we can also modify term start date management that is for a particular school, for a particular standard, uh, for a particular medium, what, what would be the start date of uh, that particular standard and I can hit on save. Then I can uh, upload any kind of document or modify any kind of document uh, uh, show or hide any kind, particular kind of document here and then exam type management I can select any kind of exam that is final exam or test exam type and then new exam type or I can update any exam type assignment type that is homework or any other particular assignment type that I wish to uh, add or update I can do that and that is the timetable management if we want to make the timetable visible to parents or not then let's move on to import and export here I can import or export any particular data of the student that are being present in the Gurukul database system uh, with these multiple filters that is as you can see here and I can select any particular school, uh, gender, standard, medium and then section. So I can put, select any section, uh, hit on export and it will download uh, uh, an Excel file into my system only. 
in this credential management, I can update uh, any old username to new username or any password to new password. This is the best alumni section where we can add uh, the, the students who are performing well in the classes to encourage other students as well and uh, to create the banners that will be put up in the website as well. This is the migration column where we have migration steps. Uh, this is for migrating students from one standard to particular stand uh, to their next standards. Subsequently, we can control uh, which students to migrate by their role numbers or their names. This is the student migration portal where we can select any particular school, particular gender, standard, medium, and then submit and it will uh, migrate the particular students of seventh standard to eighth standard. For 10th standard, we have uh, this particular arrangement where and we select the students of 10 standard and hit on submit. It will migrate. It will show us uh, another option where we can select particular students to exclude or include to either 11th science or 11th commerce and then migrate them. And this column is for failed student. In this column, the only uh, thing that would change is the academic year that will be uh, changed to the next academic year, but the classes would remain the same. This was all for admin and I'll see you in the next video.